Everybody sleep well. You look all nice and relaxed, lady. It's a little foggy this morning. But got you a new paddock. Let's go check it out. Girl Coco. Crew's moving slow this morning. You did good. There's Freckles. Good job. Good morning. Good morning, girl. Good morning, Coco. Good morning, Big Mama. Hey, Pappy. All right. Come on. We got got y'all a new paddock. Come on, baby. Let's go check it out. Come on, guys. Let's go check out your new paddock. Today is Tuesday, August the 23rd. And it's a little before 7 a.m. We've got a lot of fog this morning. The temperature is only 69 degrees. It's been a little cooler lately. And it's been a nice respite from the heat. Haven't had a lot of rain in the last week or so, but it hasn't been as hot. Had a lot of dew. A lot of cloudy days. It's allowed what moisture we did get to stay in the ground. <laughs> they got hung up. Hey guys, come on. Let's go, sheep. Come on, freckles. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, sheep. Come on. making their way slowly. They'll get here. You can see that spider web. Pretty cool handiwork. I don't see Charlotte though. She must be up in the tree. And I've talked to y'all about the water. So this is their water bucket for the last three days. And it's still nearly half full. So just not having a whole lot of water intake needs beyond what they get from the dew and from the moisture that's in the grasses itself. Come on guys. I like to stop along the way and pick at the privet bushes and other hedge material. Come on, Freckles. <laughs> Bunch of lollygaggers. Got a hold of Courage's feet last night. She's hard to catch and she does not do well in the turntable. And uh, got her feet trimmed up a little bit. It didn't seem to be as bad as I feared they might be. Come on, guys. We got a new paddock. Come on.
funny how once they realize that they're not going to the same paddock that they were in the day before, as soon as they figure that out, they take off running. <laughs> Here they come. There you go, girl. <laughs> Is that good stuff? Yeah. Oh, even Norman's running. You better save that energy, Norman. You still got a few ladies to take a date. Even old Precious is running on her three legs. And there's Shaggy. I got her foot wrapped up, but she's still not putting any weight on it. I'm gonna have to inspect that in the next day or so. Hey, big mama. There comes Freckles in the back there. Seems like she's walking a little faster. Still got a bit of a limp. But... Did you feed any better today, baby? Oh, I wish that mat would fall off. It's just, <laughs> it's just hanging on. Y'all got lots of stuff to eat in this little paddock. This is probably the smallest paddock I've given them in a while. It's definitely the smallest in this rotation. But it is, it is chock full. That's some good grass and legumes. So they'll eat well today and tomorrow. Maybe we'll get three days out of this paddock. More in trouble? Just sit in a chair and just watch them all day just eat. And there's Duchess. I guarantee you that's her. Already at the edge of the fence. Probably trying to figure... <laughs> She's in a brand new paddock. And the first thing she does is stick her head through the fence to eat on the other side. Mama keeps telling me I'm going to have to call her, but...
I mean, she's pushing through the fence, stretching that neck out. I mean, she's surrounded by grass that's taller than she is. But she wants what's on the other side. What are you doing, baby? Duchess. What am I gonna do with you, girl? Alright, I'm gonna leave y'all with it. It's, it's Tuesday the 23rd, and today we cut the uh, hay in our uh, in our front field. A couple of acres here. It's not huge. Last year, uh, we got two cuttings out of, off of this field, and we got about 75 bales out of each cutting, and uh, but we didn't do any grazing last year. So we've already grazed this field twice since the spring and uh, and it was getting pretty good pretty thick pretty tall and uh, actually a little a little taller than I would have preferred um, but we got it cut today and we'll be raking and baling here in two or three more days and uh, I wasn't thinking that we would get close to 75 bales it was expecting closer to 50 but uh, walking through it this morning it was very thick very thick and um, I think we might we might push close to 75 again we'll rake it and bail it and find out well it's Wednesday the 24th late in the afternoon about quarter to six it's been about about 18 19 hours <clears throat> since we cut this field and now you can really see where the hay is laying yesterday um, it was all fresh so it was a little harder to see the rows but it's dried out a little bit now it was pretty cloudy yesterday and cloudy this morning uh, but about midday the sun came out and been working on this uh, cut grass and drying it out which is what we want so go down here and check it out and see what it's looking like still a little green under bottom feels pretty moist which is what I expected this is pretty thick grass that we cut and there's a lot laying here that was a fairly thin section here but here's here's a thicker section and definitely yeah some of that just looks like it was cut yesterday <laughs> well it was cut yesterday so pretty thick it's gonna need a little bit more sun i think the forecast for tomorrow is to have a lot more sun than we've had the last few days so we'll let it sit again and uh Depending on what it looks like, we might rake it and then re-rake it, roll the roll the windrows over on the third day. Um, but we'll see. Looking good right now. And the weather forecast is still looking pretty good. It scared me a little bit this morning. I thought we were seeing some rain clouds rolling in, but it went to the south of us. Now today is Thursday the 25th of August and just coming out to check on the hay 
see how it's drying out. It's still some green in it, but the moisture is uh, really starting to get sun baked out of it. And uh, I think we're getting really close to being able to rake this. Probably rake it this evening. And then we'll bale it probably tomorrow after the dew is off of it. Or tomorrow evening at the latest. Baylor ran good and then I made a terrible mistake and I ran over a big old pile of hay and it got all jammed up in the plunger and jumped the chain and now I can't get the chain to stay on it won't go 10 feet without jumping so I don't know if I've bent something or, or if I got lucky uh, same chain I was showing y'all the other day that I had to repair the broken link in Chain's not broken, it just keeps jumping, but there's a there's a strange, uh, what you would normally think of as an idler pulley. In, in place of that, it's just a block of wood that the chain runs against, and you tension it with that, but uh, can't tell when it's jumping, but anyway, it's darker than it looks on this video. So we're calling it a night, gonna think through it, Maybe try to get it repaired in the morning and get the last little bit finished. Well, it's Saturday. We did a little work on the baler. Maybe it'll work. Uh, we'll give it a try here in a few minutes. If it doesn't work, if the chain keeps slipping, uh, there is a way to do uh, what they call stationary baling, where you just set the tractor in neutral and set the parking brake and run the PTO and then throw the hay in there by hand. 
and let it bail. So that's that's what we'll do to get this last little bit bailed up if if it won't stay on. And uh, but right now we're going to clean out a place in the barn here for the new hay to go. Got a little bit of last year's hay still in here, so we'll get this cleaned out and get this stall ready. We can hold about 48 bales in this stall, and I think we're going to come out uh, less than that that we've got to pick up out of the field. So we'll get this cleaned up and make some room for the hay and hit that baler here in a few minutes and see if we can get it to work. didn't work the way we wanted it to. The chain kept jumping, but we were able to do some stationary baling, pick up a few more bales, and uh, we got a total of 37, which is almost exactly half uh, of what we got each time uh, last year. So um, a little less than what I was expecting, but these bales are a little heavy too, so there may be more hay there than uh, per bale than what we did last year. But anyway, uh, not a bad crop considering that we grazed that field twice this year and we'll graze it again. Um, so some pretty good looking hay, smells good this morning. And we'll figure out what's going on with the baler before we need it again. Thank you. 